Cowboys minus three. And I shouldn't say as difficult because I think it's a tough game to handicap. But Cowboys minus three at the Giants over under is 45. Uh, Cowboys six and nine on the year, five and ten against the spread. Giants five and ten, eight and seven against the spread. That's kind of an odd flip you don't normally see. Uh, both teams are still alive. Uh, Marcus Cowboys offense, 108 points in the last three weeks. The Giants in the same span have scored 26. Yikes. <laughs> so, uh, I mentioned you as our resident Cowboys expert. What say you? So, are you picking Andy Dalton and Mike McCarthy or Daniel Jones and Jason Garrett? This is a lot of fun. I mean, it's just this a true choose your fighter here. Um, I'm probably going under 45 points. I don't trust either of these teams to score really at all. Uh, I, I have no idea who's going to win this game. Both absolutely need to win to keep their playoffs hope alive. Uh, if they win and Washington loses on Sunday night football, they're in. I have no idea. Uh, honestly, I, I'm just taking the under and, and staying away and watching this train wreck on Sunday afternoon. I kind of think the Giants have mailed this thing in. I mean, it kind they of, it, it, they kind of do. I don't know what to make of the Cowboys suddenly surging offenses but it just feels like the Giants are thinking about golfing or thinking about the offseason whatever that's going to look like I mean that, that offense has really struggled they've had injuries there obviously at quarterback they've had things go on I'm going to go Cowboys um there you go uh yeah I'm going to go Cowboys I don't feel great about it but I just think I do think there's some you know I see Marcus, you tweeting about, you know, Amari Cooper and CD lamp. Like there's some weapons here that just sure. against a team like the giants, I think can still overwhelm them. I don't feel great about it. And that's going to be a theme for these top, really these five picks, most of the picks this week, but we got to pick them. Like this is a segment where we got to put our name on something. Yeah. And uh, I like the Cowboys minus three sort of. Um, can, can I give you can I give you a number that'll help you out a little bit? Yes. At least make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Yes. Cowboys have now won seven straight games against the New York Giants. They're not afraid of this team. Wow. Daniel Jones has played absolutely terrible against Dallas in his career. Jason Garrett in these kind of winner go home games, pretty awful. Uh, as a as a former Jason Garrett watcher, pretty terrible. Very conservative in these games. Uh, I like your your confidence in the Cowboys. Yeah, and then he's there still to haunt us on the sideline in this one. <laughs> Washington football team, minus one at the Eagles, uh, over under 42 and a half. Washington, six and nine, eight, six and one against the spread. Eagles, four, 10 and one, five and 10 against the spread. Yikes, five and 10 against the spread, not great. Jalen Hurts, Marcus, has been a spark, but it really didn't translate in too much and then on the washington side they basically lost back-to-back -back football games the same exact way you've got alex smith again that is questionable so you're talking about a backup from old dominion i mean there's some there's some fun starting quarterbacks being thrown around here this week uh this is a fascinating game and yes i don't mean that in a great way what do you think here i kind of like the eagles here right i i feel like they're not going to mail this game in it's in philadelphia uh, Jim Schwartz, their defensive coordinator, has talked about this being a no-hat game, which basically means they don't want one of their division rivals putting on that NFC East championship hat, you know, inside their own stadium. So I think the Eagles are going to play with a ton of passion in this game. And look, I think Doug Peterson could be playing for his job. I think Jalen Hurts could be playing for his starting job. They got Deshaun Jackson back, and he was a spark in their offense last week. I think if Philadelphia can get to that 20 point number, I think they're going to win this week. So I'm taking the Eagles here. I like the Eagles too. Um, I think the Washington quarterback situation is, is just a mess. Um, I do think Hertz is doing some really good things. Again, the Cowboys, I mean, defensively, Washington can't do what Dallas did last week. They just, they're just not going to be able to do that. And yes, if Washington wins, they're in. I mean, this is a unique game. We start to get into those stakes and we start to play like psychologist here of what it does feel like Washington has more pressure on them in this game. Totally. Right? And and I would and think, I think this, Philadelphia is going to play a little bit more relaxed. And I think I would think this line would be a little bit bigger. Frankly, when I saw it, I thought that was very interesting. I really am excited to see what Hurts does, though. And, and this is I think you bring up a good point. This is a really interesting game for Philly for not playoff reasons. There's some long term impacts on this franchise that you could probably uh, potentially take away from this. Miami at Buffalo, Buffalo minus one and a half over under at 46, Miami 10 and five, 11 and four against the spread. Even though they didn't cover last week, Buffalo 12 and three, 10 and five against the spread. Both of these teams 
uh, on fire if you've been backing them. Buffalo 5-0 and in the last five, Miami 4-1, and one, and they just had that one this week. Um, so we know that two is starting, right? Well, we think. So So again, <laughs> we think. so that's that's the uniqueness with this. And we mentioned that the line has come down. Buffalo was, what, four and a half or five? Four early, and a half, yep. Early in the morning of when we're filming this, that came down four points, which tells me everything we need to know. And for the Dolphins, this is a win and you're in situation after such a crazy game with the Raiders. So how good are the Buffalo backups, right? We're back playing this game once again. Yeah, I mean, how much faith do you have in Matt Barkley of the uh, Buffalo Bills? I, I have none, right just to let you know. Uh, I do think there are some things that we have to factor in here, right? Cole Beasley got hurt late in this game against uh, against the Patriots. I wonder if that's going to spook Sean McDermott just a little bit into yep. resting their starters or maybe, maybe even only having them play a half because – it's not worth having Stefan Diggs or somebody like that nicked up going into the next round. So maybe Josh Allen and those guys will start. I, I don't anticipate them finishing this game because for Buffalo, all that really matters is if they win, they're the two seed. If they lose and Pittsburgh wins, they're the three seed. But we just got done talking about Pittsburgh. We know they're resting Ben Roethlisberger. So if Buffalo thinks that they could rest their guys and remain the number two seed, I think they'll do that. I'm taking Miami here, who's actually had a little bit longer of a break. Uh, you know, they played on Saturday night. Uh, Buffalo played on Monday night, a little shorter week for the Bills. I'm taking the Dolphins. I'm going to take the under. I don't know how much Tua is going to love Buffalo in uh, December slash January, right? Like, I, I don't know how well that's going to mesh. Um, I think this is going to be low scoring. I think this is going to look like basically pretty much most Dolphins games uh, we've watched over the last two months where it's kind of a meat grinder. I think I don't think you're going to see a huge offensive output from Miami just yet. I am really curious to see how they handle this situation. And again, who knows? Maybe Buffalo just kind of uh, lets the, the floodgates open and Miami wins this one easily. I'm with you. If I were going to take the side, I would take Miami. I just think this is going to be low scoring, um, classic, what, what you might expect from it. Steelers at Browns, minus nine and a half, over under 42 and a half. We talked about the Buffalo game coming down. Um, this is a line that's going up for the Browns. So even though they lose against the Jets, that number is on its way up. And Marcus, that tells me uh, somebody thinks that, that that obviously starters are going to potentially be benched, right? Like that's what we're looking at here. We know no Ben Roethlisberger in this game like for against the Browns, right? Uh, so it's going to be Mason Rudolph. But I still like I still like Pittsburgh in this game. I think they're going to have some pride, right? They have not played well over the last couple of weeks. They had a good second half against the Colts. Good for them. Go win in week 17. Knock the Browns out of the playoffs. And I also think, you know, by beating the Browns, they'll also avoid the Ravens because of some weird seeding. So I think Pittsburgh is going to beat them. Uh, but I'm taking them plus nine and a half. If that jumps up to 10, I'm all over it. You've got the other side, too. We don't know who's going to be ready for the Browns. You've got a team that looked really bad against the Jets. I think the biggest thing was the running game struggling, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm with you on the points here. This feels like an overreaction. It feels like people trying to get in uh, to understand where the good information is. I, I just can't, given what I watched last week with Cleveland, lay that kind of points here, even if we have the backups ready to play. So they have a negative point differential this season. Why in the world should they be 10 point favorites over anybody this season? I, I'm why I, I don't get it. I, I mean, it, it was that, that Cleveland game last week. And again, they're playing under unique circumstances. So I'm not going to draw too Still. much from that unless the jets are like going to win the super bowl next year, which they probably will. <laughs> um, I mean, that was just a really, really bad game. So I think this is a bit of a bit of an overreaction. Washington football team minus one at the Eagles uh, over under 42 and a half. Washington six and nine, eight, six and one against the spread. Eagles four, 10 and one, five and 10 against the spread. Yikes, five and 10 against the spread. Not great. Jalen Hurts, Marcus has been a spark, but it really didn't translate in too much. And then on the Washington side, they basically lost back-to-back -back football games the same exact way. You've got Alex Smith, again, that is questionable. So you're talking about a backup from Old Dominion. I mean, there's some there's some fun starting quarterbacks being thrown around here this week. Uh, this is a fascinating game. And yes, I don't mean that in a great way. What do you think here? I kind of like the Eagles here, right? I, I feel like they're not going to mail this game in. It's in Philadelphia. Uh, Jim Schwartz, their defensive coordinator, has talked about this being a no-hat game, which basically means 
they don't want one of their division rivals putting on that NFC East championship hat, you know, inside their own stadium. So I think the Eagles are going to play with a ton of passion in this game. And look, I think Doug Peterson could be playing for his job. I think Jalen Hurts could be playing for his starting job. They got Deshaun Jackson back, and he was a spark in their offense last week. I think if Philadelphia can get to that 20-point number, I think they're going to win this week. So I'm taking the Eagles here. I like the Eagles, too. Um, I think the Washington quarterback situation is is just a mess. Um, I do think Hurts is doing some really good things. Again, the Cowboys, I mean, defensively, Washington can't do what Dallas did last week. They just, they're just not going to be able to do that. And yes, if Washington wins, they're in. I mean, this is a unique game. We start to get into those stakes and we start to play like psychologist here of what it does feel like Washington has more pressure on them in this game. Totally. Right? And and I would and think, I think this, Philadelphia is going to play a little bit more relaxed. And I think, I would think this line would be a little bit bigger, frankly, when I saw it, I thought that was very interesting. I really am excited to see what Hertz does though. And, and this is, I think you bring up a good point. This is a really interesting game for Philly for not playoff reasons. There's some long-term impacts on this franchise that you could probably uh, potentially take away from this.